what is up youtubers so you're probably wondering is that my car behind me i don't think so this is actually a genuine 2008 bmw m3 competition as you can see got the gt4 lip on there carbon fiber accents on the mirrors full carbon roof you know what i'm saying got some tasteful wheels on it and your boy phil s2k you know he can't have a car without bagging it yep. this guy bagged his civic si he bagged another civic si he bagged a s2000 and now an m3 who only knows what's next supercharging <laughs> so <laughs> he already went ahead and started stripping some of the trunk for me so that way we can um route the lines for the management that's that blue hose on the floor right here so let's do a quick cap recap over the components so we have airlines that's probably a dump tube or something we have the bags itself i love airlift performance because they use the stainless steel leader lines which is really helpful and durable we have some sway bar links and um we got the rear bag components in this bag over here or box i should say and um yeah it's time to start bagging this thing first thing i'm probably going to do is start jacking up the car taking off the wheels put it on some jack stands pop the hood and start the disassembly process yeah man so right now we're packing it up because the rear end is a little more seized than we anticipated so we're gonna go get some map gas a breaker bar and the toolkit for the rear struts just to make our lives a little more easier and then we'll be back at it so quick mock-up of the suspension it's gonna go like this inside the car what we're gonna do is one control arm is gonna go like this so basically the setup's gonna look like that but we obviously we have to mount this piece to the bag we have to thread the fitting in there and also there's gonna be a mounting piece for the bottom as well All right, world, so we got all the components laid out. Um, you might not understand it, but I'll just go through it and explain it for you. So basically, these are the cam bolts, which you adjust the camber in the rear. That's gonna replace the old bolts on the new control arm. Then we have these two bolts here with the washers and nuts. Those are gonna mount the strut to the lower control arm. And then also, we have two 90 degree fittings that's going to go to the bags in the rear we have four bolts two on each bag to mount the red um, anodized bracket to the top of the bag and then we have these bolts is going to mount the bag to the lower control arm and this is for the height leveling valve of the headlights so um we're going to start assembling this stuff and show you how it goes Okay, we're out. working on the front. My bad, the GoPro died. We didn't have no charge. So basically we gotta attach this quick release fitting to the end of the airline. The airline was attached to the front strut slash bag assembly. We're gonna put some of the Pro Dope on the threads. I'm gonna show you guys the rear end in a second. So that goes on there like that. Make sure you don't cross thread. Got my adjustable. That's good and tight. Let me show you the rear end real quick.
So as you can see, the rear end is pretty much installed. You got the arms on there, the bags on there, everything's on there. But we have to preload the suspension. So what this means is we have to loosen the bolts, compress the, the suspension to the ride height, and then torque all the bolts. So that's probably going to be the final step. But right now we're getting finished up. Ah, we're trying to finish up the front end, get it mounted, run the airlines and stuff, and then we'll do all that preloading and torquing. My boy over here working hard. Look at the top of his head. Oh, Got shit. all types of dirt in there. Sweating bullets and stuff. Using the shit out my brand new tool. Damn, I tell you. 58 degrees in here. Not that bad. Got the door closed. But, um, yeah, she's coming along. Who's ready to see this thing on the ground? Here, about tucking. So right now we got the cargo liner for the trunk and we have the management in our hands and we are mocking up the placement and the routing of the lines. So basically I found a nice little uh, plug drain hole in the, the frame so I didn't have to drill any holes. What we did was drilled out the grommet. I'll show you that in a few minutes and um, ran the lines through there. So we're trying to orient the management system in a certain way where it can reach the harness so the harness is going to run behind this cargo liner probably pop out here somewhere and plug into this it could pop right here or it is but then you can have the long wire coming through there mm, sure i think a little small pop right there yeah small little pop out but um Okay, so basically we got this screwed to this little plate and um, Phil was mentioning that he has um, three lines, but this this is going to quarter inch lines. So we're gonna have to put a reducer and we don't want the reducers up here because it's gonna look a little tacky. So we're gonna hide it underneath the paneling. So we're gonna dive these lines through this part. We're gonna make a hole. Um, we're going to measure it to try to find the center point so the hole looks decent. So like this thing is 7 inches. So that's going to be 3 and a half. So right there is the center. We should mark it with something. Alright man, so we're trying to fabricate a bolt for one of the rear control arms because the bolt is damaged. It's soft aluminum so you know, what can you do? chase the threads with um, a tap and now we're attempting to make a new bolt this bolt is the same thread pitch same diameter it's just way too long so we're gonna cut it Device is coming in handy, my friend. Real bad man, is it? Bad man thing, you know? 
Yeah, man. What up, guys? So it's day two on the install airlift performance suspension on the E92 M3, and um, we was in the garage to about almost 12:30. We had a major hiccup because. My breaker bar was broken, one of the bolts were seized, so we needed a, um, some gas for the torch. So that was like a big detour. And then um, we managed to install all four bags. We ran all four lines. We got the management in. So basically now we're just working on the tank setup and preloading the suspension. However, we did have one issue with one of the control arms, the knuckle where it screws into the threads were stripped so it's aluminum so we've been trying to find a helicoil kit so we don't have to replace the whole entire knuckle but um it's thanksgiving day and all the stores are closed usually some of the big name brand stores stay open today but because of covid everybody's like scared you know what i'm saying so um hopefully we can get this car mobile today and then probably like a couple days after we'll fix the stripped bolt All right, so as you can see, we got all four wheels back on. The rear suspension was preloaded and torqued. Um, the trunk setup is only mocked up right now because we didn't finalize how we want the layout. So we're just doing a quick test run, air it up, and see if we could get this car on the floor, check for any leaks. And then after that, we'll probably finalize the trunk setup. Let's go back. Hold on. Go forward a little bit. All right. Hold up. air out let's see it bag look decent the front is high oh shit that shit tucking bruh that shit tucking with that wheel spec yo that shit crazy tucking bruh yo the rear is tucking hard as hell. Bruh. <laughs> the rear look crazy, son. <laughs> Niggas gonna be like, yo, hot, what's wrong with his car? Rear tucking crazy. It's officially slammed. Raise the back up. Bruh, we don't got all day, man. <laughs> Oh, 
is a fail. It's what happened when you buy used parts. It was happening, Phil. Talk to the people. Oh, no, it's not. Is it aired up? The front is, not the back. So the back is still tucking? Yeah. The back went up a little bit, but it's... Because I don't even hear the tank cut on. Just like it tried to go up just now. You think it's stuck on the tire? Hmm. I didn't think of 